or even clicking play. Look at how beautiful this variable bush viper is. Ralphie boy told me to be brutally honest. Well, the brutal honesty is... Today we're going to do a blind reaction. Friend and channel member Ralph had to assist feed one of his variable bush vipers. We're going to check it out, see, give some feedback, I guess. But yeah, you ready for this? Subscribe. Let's get to it. Right off the bat, before even clicking play, look at how beautiful this variable bush viper is. Incredible. Now the reason he's assist feeding is because the snake lost a lot of weight quickly within a day or two of getting the snake. It was dramatically underweight. Just to give you an idea, he sent me these comparison pictures. Look at how quick. Day one, nice, plump looking. Not even three days later. Look at this. You can see the folds in the skin. Quick and rapid decline. And that's the reason he's resorting to assist feeding. Should always be last resort, which in this case it was. But let's check this out. So right off the bat, I guess a few things is getting the sponge there. Did you use the hemostats to get the sponge on top or did you just put the sponge down? Now Ralph is smart. I know that he would base it off how the snake's acting. The snake's clear, clearly lethargic, but if it had energy, reaching down with the sponge could be problematic. Also the shifting where you take the sponge off if it was a snake that had energy that could cause a problem. Now the reason people use sponge like this is because you've seen it over and over again especially with the bite reactions. Pinning a snake down, grabbing any animal, animal behind the head cause them to panic and cause them to defend themselves most likely. These vipers can swing their little fangs out it just can cause problems. So the sponge helps with being able to do this type of stuff in a much safer manner. But let's continue on. So in all, I guess the other thing would be, I've found in my experience when I have to do this, the longer hemostats, very difficult. I've found personally that the smaller tweezer type, there's a certain one that I use. It's very small, but it's easy to control the, the food and everything. Um, so if this situation ever arises again, I'd suggest using ones that are a little bit smaller, depending on the size of the snake, of course, and everything, because you want to be safe. But I think you did pretty good. Now, when we talk about assist feeding, you see how the rodent is still, still hanging out. So if the snake starts eating on its own, that's better than shoving it all the way down. So force feeding, you have to put it all the way down and massage it down to the stomach. And in, in situations like this, 
they'll try to throw it out sometimes. But the, the goal is that they start eating it on their own. So that's why he had to resort to, to trying to assist feed it. Now the first time he tried, wiggled it out. Second time is what we just saw and kept it down and swallowed the rest of the way. But yes, that's why he had to resort to assist feeding. And something I hope you never have to deal with again, Ralph. Remember, it's not your fault. Look at how quick, how quick this happened. I know it's easy to blame ourselves, but yeah, it's not your fault and you did the best you could and yeah I know you're like you would do anything I know you you would do anything to make sure your snakes are healthy and yeah it's a shame Ralphie boy told me to be brutally honest well the brutal honesty is you did it without getting bit you did it in a the least stressful manner and you got the job done so that's always it's the only thing that really matters right and yeah in my experience, the baby baby vipers are the ones that are m more likely to to not eat on their own. The cobras, they're eating machines. I've only probably had to assist feed or force feed one, one or two cobras my whole life. But Ralph, thank you for sending this footage. Hope you never have to deal with this again. Yeah. Love you, man. Truly grateful for you. Yeah, subscribe if you're new. Big shout out to my channel members. Be back very soon. If you'd like early access to videos, or if you just want to support, consider becoming a channel member. And then click the description. Follow me on Instagram. Check out the little bit of merch I have. Love y'all.